All right, we have a doozy right here. So let's just get right into it. Y'all see the title down here, Woman Leaves Prayer for Men in this California Moss. Oh, boy. There's something in me that is oriented towards social justice. Even as a kid, it pained me to see people who were hurt or people who were sick or people who were poor. I never grew out of it. you grew in love with the culture of Islam. Now, there's many different cultures, but the tenets and the rulings and the practices of true Islam must be upheld. And also, you just said that you're reframing. No, you said, yeah, you said you're reframing it, not redesigning. Reframing is actually redesigning. I don't know if, if you knew that, but that's actually what that is. But we'll keep going. In most mosques, women will sit behind the men. I would look at this and I would think to myself, when I come in faith to learn, to pray, to be a part of a Muslim community, why would you give me an inferior place to be? There was only yeah, there, this is a problematic uh, statement. This is a problematic thing to say. You're saying, why would you give me an inferior place? Like, who, who are you referring to? Who is this you you're talking about? It sounds like you're referring to the creator, and that's not the type of attitude or position you should have regarding the laws of the creator. And one way to fix it, and that was to establish a place where questions are encouraged. You don't need no theology of liberation in Islam or something different. Islam is a complete religion. You do not need to come and rebrand it, fix this, take this out, take that out. No. Islam is a complete religion. You being a Muslim, you should already know this and understand this. There's rules and regulations. Allah SWT has already set the table for all of us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. So even if we don't think something is good for us or better for us, it is, in fact, good and the best for us. Okay, I, I do apologize. I gotta keep stopping this. So this brother's talking about standing up for injustices and stuff like that. Okay, so there's a lot of injustice in a lot of different uh, religions. That don't mean that the tenets and the rules and the core practices are unjust. Like he gave y'all an unjust position. He dealt y'all an unjust hand. No, that's 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 not the right way to think. We say everybody's welcome. That includes men. We want men to build with us and to grow with us. The main idea behind the women's mosque was giving women a place for themselves, a place of safety, a place of security, and where they can be the host. Gay people have come. People who are Okay, yeah, so when you're talking about a woman, you know, building a place for women to be, you know, safe and all of this and all that, yeah, that's that's cool. I mean, you can lead women in Salat, you just cannot lead men. Leading a man in Salat is haram. This is haram in Islam. It's just, that that's just, it is what it is. There's no way around it. And you cannot make something halal or acceptable that Allah Sallallahu Alaihi has made haram and forbidden. And you're talking about, I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole with gay people and uh, trans people joining and all of this and all of that. This actually, the order and the structure is for women's protection. 
It's not to belittle them or put them beneath. It is for their protection and, and to uplift them. That, that is what this is for. Trans. I think, can I, can I come? And I said, we don't ask people questions about who they are. We want to hear your story because we all learn from it. Okay, and also, you know, someone can correct me in the comment section below, but I was actually speaking with one of my companions, actually a couple of them, uh, just trying to get an understanding about a woman calling the Adon. And from what I understood, a woman can call the Adon, it's just not to where a man can hear it and then follow her in prayer. So basically what this woman is trying to assert or the position she's trying to take is to be an imam. And obviously... You cannot be an imam, ma'am. Uh, there are no, I don't think that there is a feminine term for imam. So I would wonder where, where her background is. Like, does she have Muslim parents or was she just a, a convert who came in and just was like, mm. uh, she, had, she already had some of these wild ideas outside of the religion of Islam and thought that she could possibly bring some of that into the religion because this is what it sounds like right now. So if she's married, which I don't think she's married, because let's say you are married. Okay. Who's leading this a lot? What is it? Your husband or you? Do you just decide randomly? Um, you know, whatever you call them. I'm going to lead a lot today. <laughs> this is haram and it's inappropriate. And in the comment section, I actually did check the comment section in this video. She was getting roasted, toasted and cooked. About 97% of the comments was against this position because Muslims who are trying to practice the true religion of Islam, practice their deen, and the true way of the Holy Last Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they obviously would get offended by stuff like this. I mean, this is, this is not acceptable, and it's haram. It's as simple as that. You cannot lead men. Now, you can lead women in Salat, sure, but you cannot lead men. And to take it a step further, if you had a son and your son became of age, Islamically, according to Islam, he would lead you in Salat. You wouldn't be leading him. And I don't know if she knows any of this. Like I said, I don't know her background, so I'll, I'll, I'll get off of her right now. Are we going to get a true understanding of how to fix this hatred and misunderstanding of who Muslims are here in America? We have to fight this battle. But while we're fighting this battle, we also have to fight an internal battle. Patriarchy is an issue inside Islam. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, I was, you know, I was trying to... I'm still going to use kid gloves with her. I'm not going to box her up that bad. You know, I'm trying to be respectful as best as possible. But again, this type of stuff, this type of talk is offensive to traditional Muslims who actually want to practice Islam in its truest, purest form. You just got finished saying that there's some patriarchy in Islam. Again, this sounds like you might have some some internal beef or disagreements that you have to take up, uh, you have to work on within yourself, because it sounds like you're a little bit upset with the creator. You know, he's set the table for all of us. He's laid down the laws, the rules, the reg regulations, the restrictions. He's made what is haram and he's made what is halal. It is our job to submit to that. A Muslim is one who submits to the will of God. We have to submit to that, whether we accept it, don't understand it, agree with it or not. We have to humble ourselves and submit to that and do the best we can with what we've been commanded to do. Cover it up. But we have to put those things in place to fix it. And I think it's a hard and long battle to be fought, but I think it can be won. It's not against anybody. It's for everybody. Yeah, and um, of course, we can go into a bunch of reasons why women are to be separated from the men when it comes to certain activities or certain things. This is a protection for women. This is a protection for women that has been placed and given by the creator, which is a good thing. This is a good thing. This is not to uh, make belittle women or make them feel inferior or anything like that. If that's your position or that's how you feel, you need to really do some self-introspection. But we will leave it there and uh, leave your likes, 
your comments and subscribe, of course, and we will see you in the next one.